Hey everybody, Jeff here. Welcome again to another good video here. So this has the shower massage. It has the whole new uh, escutcheon plate, the handle, the cartridge, and the whole new mixing valve that you have to solder in to the pipes before you do all of your tiling. And it also comes with a tile spout as well. So it comes with a multi-choice universal uh, rough-in. That's their, their valve that's used on many of their different products. So today we're going to focus on this tub spout here and the problems you're going to find in the owner's manual because the owner's manual contradicts the actual part that they put in the box for you. So we're going to show you how to solder on the adapter onto the tub spout pipe here so that you can assemble this and install this tub spout onto the pipe there. Okay, so herein lies the problem here, and if you look at their instructions there for putting the tub spout on a copper sweat installation is what we're doing, meaning they're expecting that the adapter is going to slide over the end of the copper tubing here, and if you look at number three there, they're showing that the copper pipe goes all the way through the adapter and sticks out such that once you solder on the adapter, you're supposed to cut off the remainder of the copper tube there. But that's not how this part actually works once you pull it out of the box and the rubber hits the road and you go to cash in on those instructions that turns out to be incorrect because what happens is there's a stop in the middle of this adapter so that when you put it over the pipe the pipe doesn't actually go through the adapter the pipe stops like right behind the gasket there so there's a stop that's built in there so that leaves us with a dilemma here that, okay, the instructions are now contradicting what the actual part, the way it's acting in real life. Okay, so here is the tub spout uh, pipe here. So what has to happen is the Delta shower faucets come with this adapter here and they want you to sweat the adapter onto the copper tube there and of course you have to take the there was a black o-ring that was here we took it off so that it doesn't get melted from the heat and so you can see what it does is it goes on the end of the pipe there so the problem is that they don't tell you in the instructions there how big they want the pipe to be um, but you do know that putting this thing on here this is the tub spout see the threads are in the back and so those threads are going to thread on to the back end of the adapter here so when you put the tub spout in here and start screwing it in, eventually it will screw all the way up to the wall. That's the, the goal. Problem is, is they don't tell you how far to cut this from the wall here, right? So what we have to do is we, we know that the thread here, that back thread where my finger's pointing, that has to be no more than an inch and a quarter off the wall. Otherwise, it'll be set out too far for that tub spout to screw into it. And the other thing too is the instructions show that you put this on like a collar and that the tube continues on and pokes out. And after you solder in place, they tell you to cut the tube off. The only problem is that is not how this part works in real life because if you look back in there, you can see there's a stop. And that stop there hits the pipe, see? So you, the pipe doesn't come all the way through. You can see it stops right there inside the stop. So this line on the outside right there, that line is where the pipe ends. And so that's how we figured out how to cut it to leave us with the threads between a quarter of an inch and one and a quarter inches off the wall. So let's go ahead and measure this. All right, so it looks like in our case here, it's about two inches off the finished surface. And I wish they had just told us that ahead of time so we wouldn't have to sit there and uh, figure these things out and possibly guess wrong because you can bet there's some people that are going to guess wrong on that. So what we'll have to do is we'll have to put flux on that pipe. We'll put flux on the inside here where the pipe, uh, on this end rather, where the 
pipe goes in and hits the stop. And then we'll heat, we'll put this on the pipe like this. And then once the copper's all the way up in there, then we'll heat everything up there and solder it right in there. And then it'll be nice and solid. Okay, so I'm gonna put some flux on the pipe. Just right around there. Now I'm going to take some flux and I'm going to stick it in the back end of this too where the pipe will make contact there. Make sure I got plenty of flux inside there. Okay. And then now I'm just going to put the part in place, make sure they're made it up nicely and then it's on there straight. And I can see the copper pipe all the way up against the edge here so this is ready for me to solder. I'm going to stick the solder into the front there as I heat it up. This would be a perfect time, if you haven't already, to hit the subscribe button down below. And once you hit that subscribe button, you'll see that little gray bell. Click on that, and that will alert you to every time we put a new video so that you'll never miss a video. And also, if you like our video here, you can click on the thumbs up button down below. That lets us know that you like us. And any questions you have, please enter them in the comments down below, too. Okay, so you know you're supposed to put the gasket back on. Don't forget that. It's a very important part. A lot of people might forget because they had to take it off to sweat the adapter onto the pipe. But this gasket needs to be on here because it helps block off the forward end here. It keeps water from coming back around and shooting back and coming back and dripping down the wall. If you get water dripping down the wall, that's one of the reasons. I also like to put a little... Teflon tape on the metal threads there before we go ahead and screw this on for good. So let's go ahead and get him screwed back on here. So we'll just keep screwing it on there until it it finds itself nice and tight up against the wall. Maybe I'll go a little more. I want it to be nice and snug. And then, of course, once I put my clear silicone caulk around it, we'll caulk around here so that water can drain out the bottom if any ever comes back. All right, so you can see we got the plate on here, the escutcheon plate, and the, these two screws go in deep, and they attach to the axle uh, right to the mixing valve. Okay, now we put the shower handle on and see how it's keyed. And it's keyed so that it'll be pointing in the off position when you install it. There we go. Then you can see that little screw right there in the middle there, that Phillips head. That's what screws the handle onto the main part there, right onto the valve stem. Okay, so we're done with that. And then there's this little cap piece that goes in here, right in the middle. And then that's it. That completes your shower discussion kit there. And the tub spout are, are in there very nicely. Let's test it out now. So that should be good enough right there. And let's try now. we we'll turn on the shower. Hopefully we shouldn't see any water coming back out that way. That's where you really want to concentrate your testing is make sure you don't see any water coming out the bottom there. But so far it looks pretty good. And when we look up top there, we can see uh, nice lots of water coming out the shower head, nice and even. There's our two niches that we made. 
so far this looks pretty good. No water coming out the back end there. All right, so now if we look real closer, you can see I've already tooled in some silicone right around the edges there of the discussion plate. Now I'm going to do it around the edge of the tub spot here. You just take your finger, run it down all the way around to the bottom there. And do the same thing for the part up top. Just run it all the way down the side. And there you go. So when you look real close, you should see that it's clear and smooth all the way around there and then it's attached to the wall. And we're going to put some here on the overflow vent right here as well because that's another spot where water could theoretically leak in right through that top seam there. So you want to make sure you get that sealed off nicely. And then also up at the very top by the shower spout there, the uh, shower head, you want to push the flange all the way against the wall and put some silicone on that as well to keep it in place. Well that's it for this tub spout. You can see it's looking beautiful in here now. And uh, there's our new niche that we built, looking gorgeous. There's the Delta shower head that we installed, the Intuition. And so if you like this video, folks, please give us a thumbs up down below. And any questions you have, just ask them down below in the comments and we'll answer them for you. And you can also hit the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel so that you can come back and binge watch many more engineering videos that we have for you. And you can also hit the bell icon after you hit the subscribe button. And that will alert you automatically whenever we upload a new video. And we will see you next week.